Hello from Kiel, Germany and welcome to Bloody Hands New York Families. I'm Linda from CU Media. This is the first tutorial video of our latest game. I'm going to give you some instructions to get into the game and how to have an easy start. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you can get it in the App Store or Google Play Store. Now let's enter New York. First of all, I have to choose my in-game name to create a new account. I want to use C Lin. So I click on the box and enter my name. And confirm. You can also log in via Facebook if you like to. In case you log in via Facebook, your Bloody Hands account will automatically be connected to your Facebook account. And your username will be your Facebook name as well. But you can change that anytime in your profile. Let me just explain some UI elements to you. This is the district view and this is your very own district. You got your main buildings right here, including your townhouse, your wall, the soldiers quarters and the guards house. And around your main buildings you will find some businesses. You need these to get a steady income. Despite of gaining money via your businesses, you need these legal facade to distract the police from your illegal businesses. The 1930s were times of prohibition and you want to join the dirty businesses of alcohol smuggling during this time. The amount of money stored in your district is shown in the upper bar. There are also some illegal resources you get as soon as you start some dirty businesses. This is the cop status and here are your coins. Although you get legal businesses, you need to bribe the cops to keep your money production at 100%. Otherwise, your steady income will decrease. Bribing the cops works like a building upgrade. This is your profile picture, your rank and the progress to the next rank. With a click on your picture, you can open your profile. You can do a lot of stuff in your profile, like building your avatar, see your current achievements and awards or change your name. I may show you the avatar builder and the item shop in another video, cause these ain't important for the start. The left menu is the most important. Here you will hire your soldiers, which are your offensive units. You can set up the defense formation of your guards via this button, in case other players attack you and try to steal your goods. So you get offensive units, soldiers and additionally defense units, guards. Soldiers are fighting in all outgoing attacks like on the map, in PvP mode or in Manhattan where the family battles take place. All incoming attacks will be handled by your guards. In opposite to your soldiers, you'll never need to recruit defense units. You can also train your units, therefore you need to build a boxing gym in your district. You can enter it via this button. In the gym, you can skill your different unit types. Via the money button, you can manage your dirty businesses. And of course, you can found your own family or join other families. Families and the wars in Manhattan are one of the main features in the game. There are several ways to build up a good family and to find members. I recommend to watch our tutorial video about families. I will explain how to found a family, how to join a family, how to get members and how to manage your family. But here's the short version. Creating or joining a family requires a lawyer. Believe me, a family shooting other families in Manhattan? definitely needs a lawyer. You'll find it here. You'll be able to hire or build the lawyer when your townhouse reaches a level of 4. Despite the other buildings, the lawyer has only one level. The big hammer button leads to the building menu. You can upgrade buildings right in the district by clicking on the building and its upgrade button or via this menu. Let's just take a look at it. All your buildings are separated in four categories. Strategy, Business, Decorations and Prohibition. These are all locked now. I'll show you how to get into these later on. On the right side we got the item shop. Here you can activate different items like premium items, timed items and booster units. You can also buy additional coins in here. There are some nice items that give you different bonuses like in the production rate, storage, upgrade and recruitments or a permanent second building slot. Timed items are protecting you from being raided by other players or the cops and there is also a ranking boost. The booster units. Once activated they fight for you permanently. 
You can activate as many as you'd like to, but note that only one booster team fights active. This is the game menu. Here you can write messages to particular players or start group conversations with a group of players or even families. Be up to date by reading the latest news like updates, announcements or events. Take a look at the results of past battles in the battle reports. Watch your position in the six different rankings, battles, neighborhoods, district, player hall of fame, families and family hall of fame. Open your profile over here as well as via your profile picture. Take a look at all the achievements you can get. Most of them even have different stages. I hope the achievements won't confuse you in the video because a pop-up opens as soon as you completed an achievement. And you will complete many achievements in the beginning. I would just click them away but if you want to read the info just pause the video. There are also some missions which may give you some kind of orientation as a newbie and of course you'll be rewarded when you complete a mission. Additionally, you get three daily missions each day at about 9 am Central European time. The daily missions are always on top of the missions list. Here's your friend list. Unfortunately, I have no friends yet. Access all our social media in Facebook, Twitter and YouTube of course. This is one possibility to open the chat. I'll show you the chat in a few moments. And game settings like music, sound, showing building levels, activating or deactivating notifications, friend requests and chat overlay in case you don't want to be part of a social interaction. Connecting to Facebook and saving your account with an email address. Change the game language and of course reset or delete your account. Don't do that. If there's anything new in here like a battle report, a new message, mission, news, friend request or you just got an achievement, there will be a little red flag at the menu. And here is the map. He will fight in PvE mode against the Kabamzano, Kabamcheno, Kabamzano, Kabamcheno family. Feel free to imagine your own pronunciation. You will take over the occupied neighborhoods block by block. When you're a family member, you will also fight in the conflict of Manhattan. Let me present you our live chat system. Here you'll see the chat overlay. You can open a preview to see the last three messages written in the chat. Keep it open and continue playing. If you got a family, you can easily switch between global and exclusive family chat via this button. Click anywhere on the chat itself to open the whole chat. Here you can write messages to all players around the world. In case you see a full message like insults, political extreme content or full and offensive language, please click on that message to report it to us. In case you could not behave in the chat, you'll be banned from global chat for three days. In case you abuse the report function and report harmless messages, you'll be banned from the game. So be respectful. Okay. Enough explanations, let's just start playing. Feel free to follow my steps in your game. If you play simultaneously to me, just pause the video during upgrades because I will forward the video and skip the waiting. As mentioned, you can download the app in the App Store or Google Play Store. First of all, I'm going to upgrade a building, the most important building, my townhouse. I can click on the building in the district view and hit the upgrade button to reveal some info about the building. You can upgrade the building via this button or as I do via the building menu. As you can see the progress of the upgrade will be shown right on the building itself. But there's also this button, the overview of building and recruitment contracts. This button only appears when there's at least one active contract. You can see the duration of the contracts and even complete them immediately by using coins. But I won't do that. I just unlocked a second unit type. There are six different unit types in the game and you can unlock them all by just continuing to upgrade your townhouse. 
Townhouse Level 1 unlocks the Bentley Revolver, Level 2 the Shotgun, Level 3 the Pump Gun, Level 5 the Bergman MP, Level 10 the Tommy Gun and with the Townhouse at Level 15 you unlock the last unit type, the Colt M1910. Let's just upgrade another building. How about the green grocer? I want to increase the money I earn in my district. Therefore, I just upgrade the illegal businesses. To transfer the money of these businesses to your money depot, which is the bank, just click on the spinning icons. They are almost begging to be clicked. Now let's go to the most fun part and attack the Cavanzano family. You need soldiers to start an attack. Luckily, you get 15 as default in the beginning and that's totally enough to occupy a block of the NPC in New Jersey. The amount of 15 soldiers is also your current unit limit. To increase it, just upgrade the soldiers' quarters. I just switched to the map and clicked the highlighted neighborhood, which is New Jersey. And now I choose one of the 10 blocks. There is a specific order of the neighborhoods, but you can attack each block in the order you'd like to. I'll choose this one. Here you can see the unit types that are used by the K family, the amount of guards and of course the loot I would get. Start attack! This is the Kavamsenos district. The six green positions belong to the enemy. You can see the units are deployed on this position. On the right side you got the option to activate up to four different bonuses for this battle. Just click on them to see their info. Here you'll see the beginning units, the units lost and the surviving units of the battle. The player who lost all his units in battle loses the fight. The red positions are mine and the percentile stats represent the cover bonus of each position. So I wisely choose the position with the highest cover. In the deploy window I can choose the unit type and the amount of soldiers I want to deploy on this position. This is the damage overview. It is different for each unit type. You can see each type's damage relations here. For example, the shotgun with the fire symbol makes 5 times more damage against the Webley revolver with the pistol symbol. The battle system is an advanced version of the rock paper scissors system. Each unit type has favorite enemies like the scissor loves paper and most frightened ones like rock does not really sympathize with paper. To easily spot the different preferences, the types are colored. Green are the favorite enemies unit types and red are the most frightened. It would be clever to use all of the shotgun soldiers, but I want to show you how to use more than one unit type. So I will just deploy 10 shotgun soldiers and click on deploy. So I got 5 units left, which I deploy on the second position with 10% of cover. In this way you could deploy on all available positions if you've unlocked all 6 unit types. Now let the fight begin. Victory! You can replay the battle if you like to. Here you can see the stats of this battle. Now I close this. You see I just took over the first block and you notice a countdown that appears below the neighborhood's name. To complete the whole neighborhood you need to take over each block within the given time. Otherwise the K family will return and occupy their blocks again. Let's switch to the district view. Now that we've won the first battle, you can see that a new button appeared. That's the PvP button. Here you can attack other players. The start attack window and the fight are similar to the PvE mode. But note that you can now also be attacked by other players. I'm going to make a separate and detailed defense tutorial, but these summed up instructions will help you to defend your district in the beginning and to get to know the system. So. Let's set up our defense. The system to deploy your defense units from your guards is like in attack mode, but here the green spots are yours and the cover of your positions is better. 
Now I want to change my 15 Webley revolver guards on one position to 10 shotgun guards and 5 revolver guards on two positions. Therefore, I will just change the unit type to shotgun or fire and decrease the amount of units to 10. Deploy. Then just deploy 5 revolver guards on the second position and don't forget to click on defense ready to save your settings. There are also bonuses you can activate for your defense. In opposite to the soldiers, you don't need to recruit new defense units after an incoming attack. The guards are fully revived right after the battle, but you can increase their max amount by just upgrading the guards' health. As you may have noticed, I lost some soldiers in the battle, so I have to recruit new ones. Here's the soldiers button and you can see my current amount and the flag turned red. That means I haven't reached my max amount and I can recruit more. So I click on the button. Here you can see all the unit types you already unlocked, the cost of the given amount of soldiers and the duration of the recruitment. So one soldier costs $200 and will be recruited within 30 seconds. I will recruit as many as possible. Now let's start the building upgrade of the gym. Despite of unlocking new unit types and increasing their limit, you can train the different types. To do so, you need a boxing gym. Here you can increase three different skills for each unit type. The training requires skill points and you gain three additional skill points with each upgrade of the boxing gym. Each unit type has three different skills, damage, health and healing. Damage and health are obvious, I think. And healing will save a percentage of units which are thought to be lost, so you need less units to recruit after a battle. I skill my shotgun on damage and healing and my revolver on health. Now I'm going to take over each block in New Jersey. In case you wonder, I will speed up the fights. One block left. We've just completed New Jersey. That's the award I got, some stats and my reward of course. Okay, and these are some achievements. The next neighborhood would be Stapleton, but just come back to New Jersey again, because New Jersey is one of the four neighborhoods in which you can start illegal businesses. You can spot them on the map by the different color. Now click on New Jersey again. These are all the illegal businesses you can start. Moonshine whiskey, beer, champagne and Canadian whiskey. On the right side you can see some stats for each of these businesses like how much money you can earn, the risk of getting caught by the cops and the transport duration. For example, the Canadian whiskey got the highest turnover but risk as well and the transport time is quite short. I choose the champagne. Now I can access different functions of this business like the buildings, transport, sale and an overview or history. These three buildings are set in New Jersey and this one is in my district. Let's just transport some champagne to sell them downtown. That will take 15 minutes, I'll speed up the video. You can see that the transport arrived. The red symbol means that my storage for champagne is full. The champagne will be sold in the gentleman's club. That's also the storage for champagne. So let's just upgrade the gentleman's club. Um, this will take a minute. Now I can store the champagne by clicking on it. And you'll see the amount in the upper bar. My transporter automatically returns to New Jersey. You could sell them now, but watch the prices. 
If they are red, you won't earn that much money, so I recommend to watch the prices and sell your drinks when they are high. In the overview, you see the history of your transports. You will also notice if the cops caught one of your transports and confiscated your goods. These were the most important things you need to know for an easy start. Keep upgrading your buildings, manage your illegal goods and take over New York. Why don't you just try to attack another player and loot his or her district? I hope my instructions helped you to get into the game and that you'll have an easy start. In my next videos, I will explain some features detailed like how to join or found a family or how to get money. So stay tuned! If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you'll find the links to the stores in the video description. Never miss a video and subscribe. You can also visit our Facebook fan page, communicate with other players and follow C Media on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Ciao, mobster.